Hello everyone! Welcome to Math Corner! In this video, we will determine the nth term of geometric sequence given two non-consecutive terms. Let us begin! First example, the second term and the fifth term of geometric sequence are 5 and 40 respectively. What is the seventh term? Let us write the given. A sub 2 or second term is equal to 5. A sub 5 is equal to 40. A sub 7 is unknown. And the common ratio is also unknown. Our first step is to solve for the common ratio. Let us use this formula in finding the common ratio. We will divide the two given terms, a sub m divided by a sub n. And then we will extract the root. The index is m minus n. Let us solve for the common ratio. The common ratio, we have 40 divided by 5. Since 40 is a sub 5 and 5 is a sub 2, the index is 5 minus 2 or equal to 3. Since 40 divided by 5 is equal to 8, then we have cube root of 8. Since 8 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2, the common ratio is equal to 2. After finding the common ratio, let us find the seventh term using the formula in finding the nth term of geometric sequence which is a sub n equals a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. Since we do not have value of a sub 1, let us use a sub n equals a sub 2 times r raised to n minus 2. Since we are looking for a sub 7, the value of n is equal to 7. a sub n becomes a sub 7 a sub 2 is equal to 5, r is equal to 2, raised to n minus 2, or 7 minus 2, which is equal to 5. Let us simplify. a sub 7 equals 5, 2 raised to 5, or 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 32. 5 times 32 is equal to 160. And the value of the seventh term is equal to 160. Another way to solve for the seventh term, since the fifth term is equal to 40, 40 times 2, which is the common ratio, is equal to 80. 80 is the sixth term of the geometric sequence. To find the seventh term, 80 times 2 is equal to 160. Next example, the fourth term and the eighth term of geometric sequence are 1 fourth and 4 over 81 respectively. What is the ninth term? a sub 4 is equal to 1 over 4, a sub 8 is equal to 4 over 81, a sub 9 is unknown, and the common ratio is also unknown. Let us find the common ratio using this formula. R is equal to 4th root of 4 over 81 divided by 1 over 4. The index is equal to 4 since the given terms are a sub 8 and a sub 4. 8 minus 4 is equal to 4. Let us simplify. R is equal to 4th root of. To divide 4 over 81 by 1 fourth, let us cross multiply. 4 times 4 is equal to 16. 81 times 1 is equal to 81. And the 4th root of 16 over 81 is also equal to 4th root of 16 over 4th root of 81. Since 16 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, 
and negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2, fourth root of 16 is equal to positive negative 2. And since 81 is equal to 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, and negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3, fourth root of 81 is equal to positive and negative 3. It means that the fourth root of 16 over 81 is equal to positive negative 2 over 3. After finding the common ratio, let us find the 9th term. To find the 9th term, let us multiply the 8th term by r. If r is positive 2 over 3, a sub 9 is equal to 4 over 81 times 2 over 3. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. Over 81 times 3 is equal to 243. If r is negative 2 over 3, a sub 9 is equal to 4 over 81 times negative 2 over 3, which is equal to negative 8 over 243. And that is how to find the n term of geometric sequence given two non-consecutive terms. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.